In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your posts. So I'm going to show you how to edit, delete and schedule some posts. So here I am in the main blog dashboard for setting up new posts and things like that. So I want to come over here to create a new post. And let's just say I start typing and I want to go back for some reason and I want to look at something else. If I click on the back button over here now, uh, what I've got is I've got that post, anything I've done has been saved, but it's been saved in draft uh, status. So if I want to edit it or preview it or delete it, I can just by hovering over it. Same down here, I've got another post that's untitled. If I hover over that, I can edit, preview or delete. And then I've got two posts down here which are fine. I don't want to do anything with them, so I'm going to leave those alone. So with this one up here that says start typing, I can edit it by clicking on there and I can put in this is more text. And for whatever reason, if I click on the back button or if I come out of the computer for some reason, that will be saved automatically. If I go back in here now, it says start typing, edit, preview, delete, draft status. Uh, if I go to preview, you get a sneak preview as to what it's going to look like on the blog itself. Now this is not live, I can't change anything here, it's just a, a snapshot of how it will look online. So star typing is the title of the blog and the body of the text just says this is more text. To get rid of that preview you have to close the tab. Now I can either edit that or delete it or I can make some changes to it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that and I'm going to change the name of it up here and I'm going to call the post a scheduled post. And down here I'm going to write, this post will be published when I want it to be published. Now I'm putting that in there like that because it's an explanation of what I'm about to do. If you come over here to your post settings, you've got an option down here for schedule. If you click on that, you can set the time and date for when you want this post to be published. So it's going to default to uh, today's um, date, 27th of May 2015, and up here I can set the time. So if I change that time to something like 15, uh, 1500 hours, like that, and go done, that post is going to sit on my computer until 1500 hours daylight pacific time okay now I'm, I'm in the wrong time zone for this but you can you can figure that out as a separate issue um, essentially what you're doing is you're saying that post is now ready to be published however i only want it to be published at a certain time and a certain date so i'm going to click on publish here like this and you can see now that the status of it has gone from draft to scheduled it's not going to be published until 1500 hours, exactly when I said. Now that can be good if you've got a particular day where you've got numerous posts and you don't want them all to be published directly one after the other. It might be nice for them to be spaced out so that your readers are given a little bit of time to digest what you've written bef you know, before that they, they go on and read your next post. So it could be a good idea if you're going to publish several in one day to just space them out a little bit, even by a few hours, uh, or maybe even space them out in such a way that one per day gets published. You could write four or five of them at the weekend and space them out so they get published over the course of the week. So that's a handy thing to be able to do. This post that's down here that's in draft status, I want to just delete that. So I'm just going to hover over the, bu the button for delete and do a left click. Are you sure you want to delete it? Okay and it will be taken away from the list of blog posts. Now, what I want to do is just show you very quickly here how the posts have been doing. So if I come up to the overview, we can see the number of page views is almost flatlined still because we don't have any uh, readers. If I come down to my stats, we can see that one person has looked at my first post and one person has looked at the advanced post. So you can track your views. You can see here under the overview of the stats, uh, one person in the United States has read my blog and eight people in total have read it. Now, I say in total there because right now the settings are 
uh, set up to track my own page views. So every time I look at one of my posts, it gets logged as um, a, a viewer. You're probably better off to turn that off. So it says, don't track your own page views. Click on that. Don't track my page views and save. That means that every time you go looking at your blog posts, it's not going to get logged as a new viewer. If you do keep logging it as a view, it's going to skew your stats and it's going to make it look like you're getting a hell of a lot of viewers when really it's mostly going to be just you. So make sure you, that you do not track your own page views. And then these stats over here are a little bit more meaningful. So that's a quick run through on how to manage your posts, how to delete, how to edit and how to schedule your posts.